Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Chris and this is my shop partner, Oots. And in this video, we're gonna be installing an egress window down into my basement. We're doing a basement remodel right now and I wanna add an egress window so that we can count that square footage as livable space, count it as an extra bedroom, which will really increase the value of the house. It's not that hard of a project. I already called the utility company. They laid out all of our underground utility lines and gas lines, which are over there. We're totally free. Now we basically have to grab the shovels and and start digging. So let's get started. The first thing I do is get the dimensions of the egress window I want to use as well as the egress well to make my layouts for the hole I need to dig. A standard size egress window is usually four feet by four feet and most standard egress wells are made to fit that size window. I got both my window and the well from Lowe's. You want to lay out your hole so that it'll be at least 12 inches wider and deeper than the new window and also about two feet past where the far edge of the well will be. You'll need this extra room for cutting the concrete as well as securing the well to the house. All right, so we had some rain last night. I put a tarp over our hole hoping to avoid this problem, but this left edge, the far edge, collapsed because of some of the rain. So we had some uh, dirt fall back into the hole. Not a big deal, we're gonna clean it out. We have the concrete cutters coming in about an hour. So we're gonna get to work clearing that back out and get ready for them to start cutting. Now you can rent a concrete cutter, but if you've ever used one in the past, you know they're pretty scary and definitely require some skill. And unless you're experienced, you probably don't wanna try hand cutting a giant hole in the side of your house. So this was one case where I thought it was worth the money to call the pros in. They got the job done in about a couple hours and did a perfect job. Because the saw uses a circular blade, it can't cut all the way to the top of the inside of the foundation, so I use a concrete bit to drill some holes into the saw curve on the far side of the wall, and then I'll use a chisel to score the line so that when the wall cracks, it follows a nice straight line. Next we'll add some irrigation tubing that runs down to the gravel of the home's foundation drainage system. This will sit flush with the bottom of the well once the well's finished and allow water to drain properly. Now we just need to remove the cut concrete and there's no easy way to do this but to just break it up with the sledge. Now it's time to make a frame for the new window to sit in. I use pressure treated lumber and to secure and seal the frame, I run a couple beads of Loctite polyurethane concrete sealant and then I'll shoot some Ramset concrete spikes. Now Ramsets use a 22 blank to literally shoot an aluminum nail into the concrete. And depending on the hardness and thickness of the concrete, you may need to drill a pilot hole so that the nail can penetrate enough. 
This is my first time using ram sets and I really like them. I tried using the special Tapcon concrete screws, but I was having a lot of trouble with those breaking, so I broke down and I bought this ram set and I'm super happy that I did. Also, it's much cheaper than buying a hammer drill meant for drilling concrete if you don't have one of those. I'll leave a link to that down in the description and if you're interested in the other tools that I use and recommend, I'll leave a link to my website where I've listed and provided links to all my favorites. And if you like this video and find it useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit that bell icon, it'll notify you when I put out new videos. So thanks so much for that. Next we add some exterior grade silicone caulk to the joint between the frame and the concrete, then add flashing over top of it to really seal up this window and prevent water from getting in. Now we can install the window, and it's important to note that we had the concrete cutters cut the opening to accommodate the wood frame plus about half of an inch wiggle room. Now with that half inch wiggle room, I can add shims to get the window plumb and square and then nail it to the frame using roofing nails. Then I use some expanding insulating spray foam to seal between the window and the frame. Back outside I lay another bead of caulk and then brad nail some 1x3 polyurethane trim around the window. There's a channel that runs around the window that the trim will slide into and give it a nice finished look. Then as one last defense against moisture we add a bead of caulk around the edge of the trim. Now we can attach the egress well to the foundation. I really like this Wellcraft system sold by Lowe's as you can stack them to fit your size window. I only needed two of these modular pieces for my window well. And again the RAM set came in super handy. Next we dump dirt back in around the well and tamp the dirt as we go. Then I add pea gravel to the bottom of the well up to about an inch below the trim and I push the drain flush with the gravel to create a properly draining well. The final step is to add about 6 inches of topsoil around the well to create a slope to allow water to properly flow away from the window. Well everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I know I learned a lot, I hope you did too. This really increased the value of my house, so let's a bunch of light here down in the basement. We're really gonna be able to enjoy this space now. So don't be scared, go out there and try this yourself. It's really not that hard, and we'll see you on the next project.